All right, uh, let's come back home. And uh, teaching is an honor, talking about uh, values, a uh, resolve to help young people take their future into their own hands and determine uh, their destiny. Speaking at a Johannesburg school, former President Thabo Mbeki uh, said teachers could play a major role in advancing the African Renaissance. It's this one thing that is making me to want to reunite with my whole African beings. I mean, I have to believe this so far and all beyond in my mind that I have to be a better African for I to teach one how to use the other. Africa is alive with possibilities, and as Africans, there's a lot that we can achieve, according to former President Tabumbeki. He says speaking of an African renaissance is to speak of the coming into being of a new African identity. Mbeki says Africans have a responsibility to one another and the continent. If you look, just look at the history of this country. You know, apartheid, apartheid colonialism, apartheid did what they did. But as you walk around today in South Africa, everywhere, you see colonialism and apartheid reproduced everywhere. This is an African township, this is a white suburb, and all of that. It's unchanged. Mbeki says going through an African renaissance means big change. I think we need to inspire ourselves as Africans to say it, it is in our hands to achieve this rebirth of our continent. There is no doubt that former President Thabo Mbeki became an inspiration to the youth, but not just that, and also a voice of the African Renaissance. I got to understand more and better about the African Renaissance, which is going to give me a move forward of staying true to my Africanism. I've learned that to be a great leader takes more than what people see in you. It takes what you see in yourself. And President Sabumbeke has proven to us that wisdom and knowledge is the only thing that can make a person a great leader. As a build-up to African Renaissance, Mbeki says no South African should say they are something else first and South African next. Lehana Tutetsi, SABC News, Johannesburg.